Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming back. If this is the first time that you have been with us, then please do not forget to hit subscribe. We would love to see you back again and again. So today we are looking at dinosaurs. dinosaurs. This little guy would like to be a paleontologist. paleontologist. He wants to be a paleontologist and he wants to learn all about dinosaurs. So he spends every waking minute watching Dino Dana, Dino Dan, um, what else do you, you like walking with dinosaurs, all the David Attenborough walking with dinosaur things. Um, what else do you do, you like, what else do you like? Dino. You, he likes Jurassic World. Yeah, Jurassic yeah. Park. Jurassic Park you've seen bits of, but it's a bit, scary. bit scary, a bit scary. Um, you read dinosaur books, he wears dinosaur clothes. He's dino mad, basically. So we thought we would take all of his dinosaur toys and show you who is who. Because if you're anything like me, you have to defer to them to work out how to pronounce them. And if you are a little one that loves the dinosaurs, then we have something good in store for you, yeah? Good positive harmony. <laughs> so, dinosaurs. Who do we do first? Who should we go for first? Indominus Rex. An Indominus Rex. Go for an Indominus Rex. <coughs> now, Indominus Rex, is this real? Is it a real dinosaur? I don't think it's a real dinosaur. Mm. Is it? Nah, it's not a real dinosaur. But, but it is a super cool dinosaur <coughs> toy. Wow. <coughs> Sorry, and I'm, I'm, oh, I'm treasure being the cool mum. What else you got? Can you show me the next one. What is this? Can you see that? Who is this? A Microraptor. That's a Microraptor? Yeah. Because it's got a Microraptor, has four, two bits of wings there, and two bits of wings on its um, legs, and one bit on his tail. So that's why he can fly it up for to see if there's anything like a mouse or something like that. Oh, right, okay. So like, what does he eat then? Does he eat the plants or does he eat the mice? Uh, he eats meat. He eats meat, which makes him a... Carnivore. A carnivore. So that there is a micro raptor. All the nom 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 nom. Oh, I think it's finally focused, Tobes. Look. Woohoo! Yay. Don't move, it'll knock you into focus. So there you go. That is the micro raptor. So what else have we got, buddy? Who is this? T-Rex. This is, is it a T-Rex? Yeah. One of the things that will let you know about Schleck toys is that it shows you, or it used to, the name underneath them. So this is not a T-Rex. But if it's a really big dinosaur that looks like a T-Rex and it's not a T-Rex, what is it, Tobes? A gi... Gigantosaurus. A Gigantosaurus. So is Mummy cool? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so Gigantosaurus. What do we know about Gigantosaurus? Um, it's called the Gigantosaurus because they were very big. Because they were very big. There's no mistake in that, is there? No. Should we grab another one? So we've got a one. massive box here. Hey, <laughs> what else have we got to pull out then? We have another one. Who is this one? A Patasaurus. A Patasaurus. Now this guy is huge, isn't he? Yeah. Would he have been bigger than a person, do you think? Look at that tail. Would he yeah. have been bigger than a person? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is he? Is he a herbivore? A herbivore. A herbivore, which means eat he only eats plants. Do you want to pick another one then? Who's this? A velociraptor. A velociraptor. He's right. The velociraptor. Yes. So this is the velociraptor. Now the velociraptor. Did it? What can you tell us about the velociraptor? It was very fast. It was very, very fast. How fast? Like fifty-nine hundred hours. Like fifty-nine hundred miles fast. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and did it was it just on its own did it just have one little velociraptor against the world <laughs> no or was there lots well they went in a pair they went in a pair yeah. did they no i mean um... you mean a pack yeah a pack, pack yeah and they had these really sharp claws and what did they do with their really sharp claws killing they're killing Ooh, they're not they're not the nicest one are they so what about no that's not what about that one a parasaurolophus and what's special about the parasaurolophus toes it's got um a little crest on its back um its head and it honks it honks does it is it like a trumpet sound yeah. and does it do the trumpet sound so that it can let all the other parasaurolophuses know that it's there yeah yeah so the parasaurolophus which is this guy here, makes a special trumpet sound. He's pretty cool, I think. Was he gentle? A nice gentle dinosaur. He was a herbivore. He was a herbivore. So he didn't kill the other dinosaurs. He was nice and gentle. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. That's what we like to like to hear. Who is this crazy animal? Look at that. Another velociraptor. That's a different velociraptor. Now why are velociraptors? Why do they all look different with toys? Some of them don't have feathers. Some of them have lots of lots of feathers and bits on them, don't they? Is that because we don't really know whether they have feathers or not? Yeah. I don't, we don't think we they don't have know. feathers. You know they did. Yeah, because I've seen a velociraptor. It had silver ones instead of gold. Oh, there you go. You see, was this in your dreams or did uh, you go? No. You went there. No. No. How did you see it then? So on my Kindle. On your Kindle. On the Kindle, the fountain of all knowledge. Hey? So this Velociraptor would have been the same as this Velociraptor. They were both Velociraptors, but it just depends on which one we think the Velociraptors actually look like. Which one do you like the best? Uh, I like both of them. You like both of them? <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a little look. Who else we've got? Who is this? Now I think everybody knows this one. Everybody knows who this beast is. And what's special about Triceratops? What can you tell us about? So that? he's got. Well, he's got a. He's a three-horned face because he can say one, two, three. Three-horned face, which is why he's called a Triceratops, isn't it? Yeah. Because tri means three. And it's got four legs. And it's got four legs. And it walks on all four legs, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Bit like a dog. Yeah. Whereas the Gigantosaurus, oh, well, Gigantosaurus legs. walked on two legs, didn't it? Yeah, and it, the Triceratops would do this way. So, if the Gigantosaurus tried to eat the Triceratops, it was, he would do this and kill that. Right. That's exactly what would happen. It could be a very, very violent world in the Triassic, Jurassic period. Yeah. So what else have we got then? Oh, this is a challenge for you, Toby. Yeah. What is this? I can't remember. You can't remember this bad boy. Carnotaurus. That's what this is. And that, all those big spikes along there. And you definitely know what he is, don't you? Uh -huh. What is he? I can't. He is definitely... A carnivore, uh, which means he'd bite your nose. <laughs> right, we'll put him behind us. He can go in the middle there. We've got a dinosaur. We sat on it here. When the kids were younger, I made a zoo for them, and we turned it into like a dinosaur world slash zoo. I think what we're going to do is just a big, big board of ply um, plywood from B and Q, and I think what we're going to do is flip it over and make it into a dinosaur world and buy some volcanoes and stuff, aren't we? But at the minute, we're using it like a Jurassic Park style zoo, because that's cool. Now this one, this is a super cool one. This is one of the first dinosaurs you've ever got, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. And it isn't it's the one first of my, one. It isn't the first one. No, the first one was a T-Rex, wasn't it? I think it was. I don't know. Every, every child has a T-Rex first. This is a Therinosaurus. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Something like that. Therinosaur. It's waving at you. He waving? Yeah. He waves this one. Hi. This has got super. Thank you. This has got super, super long claws, hasn't it? Uh -huh. Like. And that's the longest claws any moving creature could have. 
That's the longest claws that any living creature could have. Possibly. Who knows? That's a Toby fact, isn't it? Is that a Toby fact? It's Toby. Okay, so what else have we got in this magic box? He's not nice. No, he's not. He's a bit of a... It's um, Who is this? Uh, I think it might be a T-Rex. It's a T-Rex! We found the T-Rex! Ding, ding, ding! We found the T-Rex. Now, hopefully, Mr. T-Rex will focus. T-Rex is not focusing properly for us, but never mind, it's because my face is in the way. And look, your head down. Look, my head down. You would want to hide away from a T-Rex, wouldn't you, really? Look at those teeth, boys and girls. They are some nasty teeth. So... So that is the T-Rex. Now, this particular T-Rex is blue. Do we think a T-Rex was actually blue? No, some probably not, but we don't know. Some T-Rexes were different colours, but I don't know, some dinosaurs were brown. Black. Black. Yeah. Do we think? They could have been. They could have been all sorts of funky colours. We don't know, because all we've got at the moment is their bones. And isn't there a T-Rex skeleton that's just been found in America called Sue? And it's a complete T-Rex skeleton. So you can Google that because that's incredibly cool. They found the whole skeleton of the T-Rex. Put him somewhere with nobody. Put him somewhere over there with nobody. Now what I is this? Oh, you tell me what this is. A Brachiosaurus. A Brachiosaurus. He was on it. Now we've got a couple of these because Brachiosauruses like to go in a herd, didn't they? And I think one year somebody bought you one and I bought you one and we ended up with two. This is a Dilophosaur, or a Dilophosaurus. Is it Dilophosaur or Dilophosaurus? Dilophosaurus. So this is the Dilophosaurus. Every dinosaur after its name begins with a... Ends with a saurus. Yes. Well, not all of them. Some of them are saur. Yeah. Some and dactyl. Pterodactyl. Rex. Rex. Yeah. yeah. But not all of them, but a lot of them end with a saur. And so this one here, is this a bit like a velociraptor? Yeah. Who's that? That is a mini, mini, mini parasaurolophus. Now, who is this? Styracosaurus. A Styracosaurus. Now this ding, is the ding, same ding. family. Ding ding ding. Now this is the same family as, as a triceratops. As a triceratops. Yes, and it also work, walks on all fours. Very funky, very cool looking dude. This is not what people might think it is, is it? Because people will see this and straight away think, I know that is a Stigosaurus. But it's not, is it? What is it? Is it? I yes. thought it was a Kendrosaurus. It's so, a Kendrosaur. No, it's a Patrosaurus. It's a Kendrosaur. It's a Patrosaurus. It's a Kendrosaurus. Patrosaurus. I'm sure it's a Kendrosaurus. We'll, we'll agree to disagree on that one. But look at those spikes. And it would be the same family as a Stegosaurus. As a Stegosaurus. Wait, and it would. Yeah. Everybody thinks so that's a Stegosaurus. But it's actually um, a Kendrosaurus. No, a Patrosaurus, but this one a Stegosaurus. That's a Stegosaurus. But they're the same family, aren't they? Uh -huh. They're like cousins, but would they be friendly? Yeah. Well, they might have been, or if they weren't fighting, they would be friends. If they weren't fighting, they might have been friends, but most likely they wouldn't have liked each other because they would have been after each other's food, after each other's water, so... After each other's plants. Plants, food. So yes, we think they probably wouldn't have been as friendly as we might have liked them to be. Is this a dinosaur? No. Why is this not a dinosaur? Because it's got wings. And dinosaurs can't fly. Dinosaurs can't fly. So a pterodactyl is not a dinosaur. It is a... Flying so that and this is not a dinosaur, is it? No. So what we're going to do with them if they're not dinosaurs? Put them away. Put them away! Because this is a dinosaur vlog. What's this? Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. <laughs> and what does the Ankylosaurus have that's special? Bites. And? Armoured head. Armoured head. And what does he do with his tail? 
It's got a big frog. And what does he do with the club on his tail? Uh, it's a of a, a bigger <laughs> carnival. Bigger carnival. So if we had a big carnival, this would swing its tail. So what is this? Pachycephalosaurus and it's got a really armored, big armoured head. Armoured head. But if we were to cut its armoured head open, how big is its brain? Size of a pea. Size of a pea. It's a bit bigger than a pea, but it's still really, really tiny. So even in that huge head, that really big armoured head that we would expect to be really, really big. Is it big? No, nope, it's tiny. So, there's a bit of dinosaur knowledge for you. And what did they use that big armoured head for? To see who's the strongest. To see who's the strongest. So they would fight each other, wouldn't they? They'd butt against each other when they were fighting. And if a dinosaur came to try and eat them, because they're plant eaters, they didn't really have big long claws or anything like that, what would they do? Bang them on the head. Like this. Exactly what they did. You're mental. <laughs> now, who is this? Who is this? That is a Mosasaurus. That is a Mosasaurus. Now, a Mosasaurus, what did a Mosasaurus do? It was a it was a swimming reptile and it was huge. And it even had sharp teeth. And it had super sharp teeth. Ah. Now when we, we went to the dinosaur exhibit in uh, Manchester, didn't we? Where you can walk amongst the dinosaurs. And when we went there, they had a baby triceratops playing near the water and what happened? And most of the cells come up and jump and kill it. It does. It could eat a whole baby triceratops. Oh. Just like that. Just gobble it up, wouldn't it? So this is how the most of the cells would kill it. But I don't right. If it was in Jurassic Park and it the triceratops, it would go in the ocean with its mouth open. Oh, yeah. And it would jump up like this. And then it would eat the triceratops like this. Now here's one for you guys because we can't work out what this one is. I said it's a dimorphodon. That's why. And you're not sure if it's a dimorphodon. Or if it's a, it's not a Spinosaurus. Ruben insists it's a Spinosaurus, but it's definitely not a Spinosaurus. So leave us a comment to let us know what you think this one it's is. It's a Dimorphodon. You think it's a Dimorphodon. I, I think it's a Dimorphodon. Ruben says it's a Spinosaurus, which we know it's not. So let us know what you think. And I think that is everyone. We've managed to do them all. Hopefully. We've managed to do everybody, so hopefully you know a bit more about dinosaurs now. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Toby, are you going to say goodbye? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.